Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel. And I got this in a few days back, Coloring in Classics, and I just had one of a subscription that I canceled. And don't think, I'm so confused by this, but you know what? As long as they're sending them, I'll just review them. I don't know, maybe they want that. I don't know. I, they probably have no clue that their product is being shown on the internet by me, but you never know. All right, so it is a monthly subscription where you get a book and a color, a, a novel, an adult coloring book, and then I usually get some kind of puzzle book type of thing, and usually some kind of piece of candy. Here it is. In fact, I still have last month's in here because what kind is that? It's kind of brown. They're always the same kind of, yeah. Um, anyway, forgot what I was saying, but all right, I'll just quickly tell you what's in the book. First is a novel called Light Seekers by Femi Coyote. I guess that's how you say it. Let's see what it says about it. It's a, oh, it's a debut novel about an investigative psychologist's quest to uncover the truth behind the mob killing of three university students in an original and fast-paced thriller that masterfully explores the smoldering historical tensions undermining, underpinning modern-day Nigeria, the role of social media, and the complexities of family, friendship, and belonging. So that sounds interesting. Quite a bit different than anything I've read, probably. Yeah, so let's see the print. Print is decent size. A superb novel, so inventive and so well done. It's just brilliant. Absolutely cracking debut. Fresh, unique, and beautifully written. A surefire candidate for next year's big prizes. An important story masterfully told. Uh, thrillingly good. Takes uh, crime fiction very literally to new places takes us into the rich complexities of contemporary Nigeria. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've never uh, read a book, you know, a fiction like this that went to Nigeria. I think, you know, Gorky Park and some of those in um, Russia, I've read maybe some Europe, you know, some European ones, but I'm pretty sure never in Nigeria, that's really different. All right, so I'm gonna pull out the big item next. So I'm sure this has a price on it in the book. The book says it retails for $28 in the U.S. So, All right, so next is Marissa Meyer, the Lunar Chronicles coloring book. So it looks like from the back that there's some other coloring books here that she's done. There are a series. I don't know if they're all hers. One, Cinder, Scarlet, Crest, Winter, Stars, Above, and Fairest. Those are the pictures of those. And this one's Lunar Chronicles. And it looks like it has a Japanese building on the front, doesn't it? Um, oh, it looks kind of story tale. The parts of it, let's see if I can. <laughs> this is hard to do. Maybe I'll do it from this direction. <laughs> see what you can see. Definitely nice quality. Uh, price $15.99 in the U.S. Yeah, it's from Feel and Friends, an imprint of Macmillan. It says, Enter the World of Marissa Meyer's Lunar Chronicles, the number one New York Times best-selling series. Oh, okay, so these must be her novels. And this accompanies that. Uh, people, places, and scenes from Marissa Meyer's best-selling and beloved intergalactic adventure come to life in this enchanting coloring book. Castles, costumes, and characters inspired by fairy tales are detailed and intricate and decorative drawings perfect for coloring. With new text from the author, including never-before-published commentary about the series, this is a volume that lunatics, old fans and new, will want to own. Lunatics instead of lunatics. <laughs> Gotta say that right. There's a difference. All right. And the last item in the box is called Mindfulness Puzzles. More than 100 puzzles. And the retail price on this is $5.99. I like the size of it. And okay. It's a nice assortment of puzzles. I like that. Let's see if we can... 
assorted type puzzles and not everything's the same. These are the ones what I used to fly a lot for my job. Fly, you know, like from Alaska to the lower 48 or around Alaska. I pretty much flew most of the time, you know, like I might be home a week and then I'm the next two or three weeks flying and then might kind of stay home a week. But um, anyway, these are the kind of books I like because I might get sick of like crossword puzzles and they didn't have Sudoku at the time that I'm aware of. And, uh, but I didn't want just word searches. That was what was really popular at that time. I like anagrams. Um, and then some of them where you figure out out of nine pictures, which one is different than the rest, that kind of thing. So yeah, so this is a, a nice size. It'll fit in your purse. <laughs> I do like that. I should save this for when I fly to Copenhagen, <laughs> but I probably won't. I'll probably get into it. I know me. So that is my coloring and classics box. And this is April the 12th. I believe. Yeah, it's April the 12th. And I probably got it, I'm going to say maybe April 7th. And my other one wasn't too far behind that, that I recall. So anyway, thanks for watching the channel. I hope you'll give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. We'd love to have you as a member of the channel. Thank you.